Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla. Today we're doing this fun, soft date night look with mostly Walmart products. Um, and so I'm really excited about this. This look was inspired by the fact that it's my husband's birthday. So date night, birthday, meh. I was gonna have him do my makeup today in celebration of his birthday, but it didn't work out. So that video is coming soon. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. <laughs> so let's get started with this gorgeous date night look. Going in and correcting the redness in my nose and the bags underneath my eyes. Um, as you can tell, I'm not doing my cheeks this time. I've been working on my skincare routine quite a bit lately, and it has helped the redness in my cheeks, just making sure that I cleanse, tone, and moisturize as much as possible, and I'm using different serums to help the dryness and the redness in my skin. I'll post a video about my skincare routine another time, but today it is about this date night look, so moving on. So here I'm going in with the green and warm concealer from the Sephora Pantone Universe palette. You can find a warm concealer and green concealer at Walmart. I know NYX and e.l.f. has it. All right, so next I'm gonna go in with my foundation. So I'll be going in with the Morphe Fluidity in the color F1 100, matte. And then I'll be going in with the Even Better Clinique in the shade Linen. two different foundations is this one's a little darker for my skin right now and this one is a little too light for my skin right now so it's nice to be able to just mix them together for the transition period in the season where it's fall and my skin goes from nice glow in the summer to white <laughs> I mean I know I'm still pretty pale but whatever <laughs> all right so then I will be going in next I'm gonna go in with the 16 hour camo concealer by elf All right, and then I'm just gonna go in with my Beauty Blender and blend all that out. Next, I'm gonna be setting everything in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. I love this powder so much. I don't know, it just works so well. And it's cheap, like only a few bucks and it's at Walmart. One thing I struggle with is being able to afford all the makeup that I want from Ulta and Sephora. So anything that I can buy at my local Walmart is amazing. All right, for some reason, the video showing which palette I'm using got deleted. So I'm going in with the top left shade in the e.l.f. bronze palette. Next, I'm gonna use the bronzer, this glittery looking one. And 
we're just gonna go right above where we contoured. And right below on our forehead to just kind of bring the contour down. Hide my giant forehead. Next, I'm gonna be going in with a pea sized amount of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. The things I love about the Primer Potion is it just makes the eye nice and tacky so the product sticks to it and stays on there all day. When I started using this product, I noticed a huge difference in my shadows. They are, they look better, they stay better. There's none of that crease that forms. It's amazing. Next, we're gonna be going in with the e.l.f. Matte for Matte palette. Okay, so I'll be just going in with this blending brush and using this nice, light tan color. And going into my crease. Nice little wing effect with the shadow. Bringing it up. Okay, and next I'm gonna go in with this reddish color here with my fluffy blending brush by e.l.f. And I'm just gonna go below the crease and then into the crease. To finish off the eye, I'm just gonna go in. Oh, all right. The whole thing came out. All right, anyway, so we're gonna go in with this pink, light pink color and just Put it on our lid, just towards the inner part of our eye. Lastly, I just wanna go in with this reddish brown color in my flat brush and just get the underneath a little bit. Back and forth strokes, bringing that down as you go. Okay, now I'm going to do this eye off camera. Okay, now that we've got both eyes done, I'm gonna go in with my liner, lashes, and brows off camera just because they take too long. And okay, so now that I have my lashes, liner, and brows on, and I did my hair, didn't do anything exciting because I want to bring you a hair video here soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, so I just kind of want to go in with some blush to kind of finish off my look. Just dabbing that into the apple of the cheek and then back. Oh yeah. It just ties it all together. And then lastly, we'll be going in with some highlighter. I'll be using the Gleam from the Tarte Pro Glow. I don't have any highlighter from Walmart or a drugstore, so.
So completing my look with the NYX lingerie in cabaret shell. Alright guys, there you have it. So this is a nice subtle date night look for any night really or a daytime look uh, but I love this for going out and especially date nights with my hubs thank you guys for watching please subscribe below don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments follow me on Instagram and on TikTok I'll be posting videos and photos of my looks on there as well thanks guys see you next time